I was in the middle of an acupuncture treatment and I, I had a stroke. So I took the needles out and I had a stroke. You know, I mean, it's like that level of, uh, you know, of uh, uh, realization is it's amazing. She was in the in Tibet, in the Himalayas, yeah, right? Tibet. In Tibet, in the Himalayas, having traveled there to bring acupuncture to some people that she studied with and was giving an acupuncture treatment. In the middle of giving the treatment is when her stroke started. Rita, tell us more about what you went through, if you wouldn't mind. Well, um, so uh, I, uh, you know, I felt like I was going through something major. So I pulled the needles out, and I went back on the bed. And um, <clears throat> the the two women I was with thought that um, I was um, making faces because I make faces all the time, and. Uh, Pema came in and said, what's wrong with Rita? And they said, oh, she's just making faces. And, and uh, Pema went to get um, uh, a Soksu Rinpoche, who is a Rinpoche, but a Tibetan medical doctor. And he came in and said, she's having a stroke. I, I didn't know any of this. So um, when I uh, came back and I didn't have the, the voice, and I didn't have the hand, you know, the hand was like th this already. Um, I said, what's up? And uh, they said, we think he had a stroke. And I said, oh. And I promptly went back into another stroke. So I had two strokes. And um, I don't know how, how, but I, would, uh, I got in bed. So I, I don't know whether I walked there or you know, was led there or, or, you know, stuff like that. And then I stayed in bed for, um, I don't know how long. And at night I needed to go to the bathroom. Can I tell the story? Sure. Okay. You can always add it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Minutes. So, because I, I, Daniel, I think it's very funny. So I knew the house, you know, and I knew how to get to the bathroom so I could wa walk. Uh, so I, I walked, I, you know, I didn't have this leg, but uh, the right leg, but I, you know, kind of walked and there, it was a, th a small hallway. So I turned on the light and the light turning on kind of blinded me and I didn't, like, I knew that I had gone um, and uh, had to say all the, uh, had to say, like, there was a toilet. There was a Indian toilet. There was a, um, uh, had to say, a, 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 a sink and a bathtub. And I knew that I had gone to the bathroom and all of those, in, you know, like, in the past, right? And I didn't know which one to go to. I mean, that, that's how, you know, stroked I was. And so I stood there, I don't know how long, and uh, uh, this woman who was uh, sitting with me, but she had fallen asleep, uh, came out and, and led me to the, to the regular toilet. And, you know, I mean, <clears throat> I, I forgot that uh, and just remembered it, what, four years ago or something oh, like I that. that <laughs> I, I laughed because, you know, I, you know, it was so funny that, that, you know, I, we, you know, because of the, of the light going on. And, and so I, uh, you know, the, the light, you know, like the, the bright lights, strobe lights, uh, I can't do anymore. Like if, if there's a st strobe light, you know, in a room or something like that, I, ha I have to go out. So I think that's funny. And then um, uh, when I, um, uh, um, <clears throat> the, the Jeep that I came in uh, was, uh, the, there was a distributor problem. So the, 
uh, Mr. Tashi had to come and get me out. So I w walked down the, uh, the uh, hill with, uh, with two monks uh, hel helping me. And, um, you know, I, I rode into the city three and a half hours <clears throat> with uh, Mr. Tashi and, and two friends. And when I got to the Tibetan hospital, I couldn't walk. And so they had to carry me into the hospital. And then uh, it was uh, ten, 10 weeks till I could walk, you know, because I was in a wheelchair. And, you know, my walking, Allison knows, it, it, it wasn't good. I was pushing the, the wheelchair and getting my white leg like, you know, because I, I just wanted to walk so much. You know, I was a, a, a race walker. So I, I wanted to walk so much. So I, I had the, the left leg and then the right leg would, you know, like go, you know, and I, I didn't have the right hand and the right, the right uh, uh, face was d down like this, you know. So uh, it was a it was a while, like uh, maybe a six months or a year uh, till I got you know the face like yeah, I wanted. <clears throat> so um, I was down at the Tibetan hospital. Uh, so uh, I went down to what ten ten thousand feet. Okay, and <clears throat> you know, wonderful hospital. I mean, it was small, and they didn't have services, but it was, you know, it was wonderful. So um, we would hear the plane go over and there was ground fog. So the plane couldn't land because it didn't have the, you know, the, not the GPS, but, you know, the systems. So it would go back. So three times I heard the plane come in and then go back, you know. And the fourth day, the plane landed. So then um, I, I got uh, I got on the plane, and and the the police chief carried me up to the plane. I mean, he was so kind. Delhi's hospital wasn't so good, but I spent two and a half weeks there because they had to get the paperwork ready for me to go out. I had a a doctor, Dr. Gary, who spoke beautiful English. So Dr. Gary said, do you like to read books? Yes. You know, and then he went through the list of, you know, what I like to read, you know, romances, mysteries, uh, biography, you know. So I said mysteries. Mm. And so he got me mysteries because, see, I could read. I just couldn't t talk. So I read so, so many books. And then um, uh, we got the okay to go to America. And Dr. Gary uh, went with me to America. And they put, they had, uh, um, they took the seats out and they had me uh, in, a, in a stretcher. I went to America, and uh, the one thing that I remember was, <laughs> was they had guav locks on the plane. So Dr. Gary said, you want some guav locks? And I said, but I could just chew it. I couldn't swallow it. But I, I swallowed the, the saliva, but I couldn't, you know, so then I would s spit it out, you know, but I would like chew it because, see, I had, I had been a macrobiotic, so I knew <laughs> that chewing something 200 times was great, you know, so that I could swallow. And that was so important because when I got to Syracuse, you know, I was drinking tea and they said, you can swallow? You know, the, the nurses and the doctors and stuff like that, because 
supposedly people who had strokes like mine couldn't couldn't swallow. You could swallow soft food. Right. So I could, I, like I had uh, the the next day I had oatmeal. 